All right, let's take a look at negative 5 over 6 is less than or equal to t plus 2, which is less than or equal to 1 fourth. And let's go through and figure out how to solve this. So the first thing that it makes this problem difficult is the are the fractions. So what I'm going to do to start this off, I'm actually going to go through this entire equation and I'll multiply through by the number that's going to get rid of 6 and 4. This is called the LCM. And there's a couple ways of going through and solving for the LCM. I think the easiest way to do this, though, is just to think to yourself, what number goes into, what's the biggest or the smallest number that both 4 and 6 are divisible by? So, I mean, you could you could list them. You could go 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 3 is 12, uh, 4 times 4 is 16. You could do the same thing with 6. 6 times 1 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12. But you're going to see very quickly, and you could probably figure this out with the, just by thinking about it, that 12 and 12 match up. Okay. Now, just as a quick little aside, you could also do this using what's called a factor tree. So you could go 4 and 6, and you would break it down to the prime factors. So that just means that uh, prime numbers are numbers that are only divisible by themselves in 1. So the smallest prime would be 2, then 3, not 4, clearly. Because uh, 4 is divisible by 1, 2, and 4. Then 5, because 5 is only divisible by 1 and 5. 6 would not be prime. Uh, 7 would be the next prime. You may be thinking at this point that all primes are odd, but it's not true because 9 is divisible by 3 as well as 1 and 9. So the next one would be 11, 13, etc., etc. Okay? Um, so the prime uh, six, the prime numbers of six are two and three. They break down to two and three. So this is this equivalent of saying two squared. This is equivalent of saying two times three. Then you just take the highest of the two, of, of literally the two in this case, the highest of the bases. So two squared, the highest base, versus two to the one power, the highest base is two. And then we take, uh, let me make that darker. Um, and then you do the same with 3. So you say there's 3 to the 1 here. There's no 3 here, so you take times 3. Okay. And, I'm sorry, 2 squared. And then times 3. And then I just multiply these together. So 2 squared is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. So you can technically use this to find the... This is the technical way to find what's called the LCM, the least common multiple. Okay. But nine times out of ten, you can just think about it and be like, okay, what's the smallest number that goes into, uh, or that both four and six uh, divide into, and that would, in this case, be 12. The reality is it doesn't even have to be the LCM. You could have just said six times four is 24, and you'd multiply through by 24. It's just at the very end, you could you'd make the number you could make the number smaller. So if you don't have a calculator, uh, the LCM is nice because it puts literally the smallest value. There's no there's less uh, reducing down the road. But even if you don't, if you just like, you can't figure it out, you're like, okay, fine, just six times four is 24. I'm just gonna multiply through by that. You'll get the the same uh, correct answer. Okay. But we're gonna go ahead and multiply through by 12. So I'm gonna distribute 12 into every value. Okay. This is gonna leave me with 12 times negative five over six is less than or equal to 12t plus 2 times 12 less than 12 times 1 fourth. Okay. Make this distinction here. Okay. All right. So why do we go through and we do this? Well, uh, 12, which is 12 over 1, 12 divided by 1 is 12, 6 goes into 12 two times. So this will cancel out. This will be 2. This will go away. So I'm left with 2 times negative 5, which is negative 10, which is less than or equal to 12t plus, now I'm going to do 2 times 12, which is 24, is less than, and again, these two will cancel out, and this will become 3. All right, so from here, what do I do? Well, I want to get rid of the 24 now. Because I have a 10 and a 3 here, so I want to subtract 24, just do the opposite. And this breaks down to negative 34 is less than or equal to 12t, which is less than negative 21.
Okay. Finish this guy off. I'm going to go through and I'm just going to divide through by 12. Okay. There's no worry about changing the signs because all of these numbers are, uh, you're dividing through by a positive 12. Uh, this is just, I'm going to just for now rewrite this. Well, let's go ahead and just reduce it. So how many times, what 34 and 12 are both divisible by two. So this would be six, 34 divided by two would be 17. So this is negative 17 over six is less than or equal to T is less than or equal to, uh, both of these are divisible by, uh, three. So 21 divided by three is seven, 12 divided by three is four. So negative seven over four. Okay. Last bit in regards to this is that we want to, if we had to graph it, okay, I'm going to put a shaded circle because it's negative 17 over six. An open circle here because it's negative seven over four. The nice thing is if you write it in this notation, it's left to right. So it's left to right. And this is saying, this is literally T is between these two values. So right here is where you're going to have T. So this is going to be this is what it's going to be. In fact, let me do it in a different color. This is what it's going to be right in between there. Okay. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. Let me know. Uh, post some comments. Talk to me. Let me know what's up. See you in the next video.